Oh, man. I haven't sat in front of this camera for over, I would say, two months. Okay, so you guys asked for some to see some of the lice footage. Light lice? Oh, not lice. Um, I'm gonna stick some of that in. I won't stick too much. I think I'll only be able to fit this one thing in. But this is from the question and answer session, and I'll just put in the start of the zombie trash can phenomenon. Um, in the case of a zombie apocalypse, this is a good question, very merited. Um, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> and there's a, a zombie going glur, 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 glur. <laughs> It's more like a murloc sound than anything. <laughs> but it doesn't look like a zombie, it looks kind of like a trash can. <laughs> Who did this one? <laughs> Jenna. Um, <coughs> what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? Well, I've actually, ever when I first made my MySpace, the first blog I ever put on in Life's MySpace was what I would do in the event of a zombie uprising. Because I lived... <laughs> because I lived across from Mount Pleasant Cemetery, which is the biggest cemetery in Toronto. And there's like presidents and like people that survived the Titanic. If you can survive the Titanic, you're gonna make a strong zombie. So it's like, there is, there is lots of danger here. And so I started to think about what I would do. And uh, I planned an escape route and like sort of where I would go. I thought, I thought the CN Tower would be a nice place. CN Tower is like a very tall tower in Toronto. If you can get up there, you probably could hole up with the food that they have until the zombies die off. And you could look out and just be like, they're, they're dying at death there. And then when they're dead, they can never <laughs> That was my thought, but uh, otherwise, on a more simple case, like if we're here and there's a zombie uprising, uh, there's obviously the common knowledge of shooting them once in the head. So you got you. What? Maybe you can throw the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. You <laughs> Zombieland, that's and they said the double cool. take. Yeah. You got to do two. So that's like twice as many bullets that you need, and that makes things complicated. So I don't know. Don't. To be honest, let's just try it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I think it was this one. I'm gonna reapproach my tactics. So basically, that's where it all came from. I have form spring. I forgot about that. So basically, what I'm gonna do is delete all the questions that are in there from like four weeks ago, two months ago. And if you could really, I'm begging you, if there's something you really want to ask, re-ask. Backtracking all those questions is just going to leave, um, you know, it's just going to fill up like 5 billion pages of the internet space. And, you know, no one's going to be able to read those. Does this freak you out? I am a cyclops. Meh. The camera is still looking like some kind of weird thing. Have any of you seen Guilty Spark from Halo? It's like this flying thing with a really gay voice and it's like, ooh, I'm going to blow you up with a laser beam. Yeah, that thing. I want to decorate my camera so it looks like Guilty Spark and then maybe I'll be able to concentrate. This would be Guilty Spark. Yep, the lens being in the middle with the laser beam. Why doesn't my camera have laser beams? Le video. Le. Le. Why does saying le make everything sound French? Le bottle. Le paper. Le shoe. <sighs> Friggin' beats me.